Hey, so you must be thinking, oh hey, why has this and this YouTube been uploading as much? Well, I'll link a video down below, um, maybe explaining a couple of things why. How I do it is, I'm looking at the films that I need to do and the docs that need to be done for March and April. And then I will move on to the schedule. So yeah, this is a top 10, top 5 list series. Here's the intro. I also want to say one other thing that the intro sequences are going to be a bit different for now on because it's been now my laptop has got tons of pop up ads coming up and I have to fight through it to get what I want. So let's get into it. Number five Lego Indian Jones 2 The Adventure Continues. Okay, so this is the second one from the first one and this takes off from the next other films as well. In this you are able to play as many characters but you're not, not as Han Solo this time which also you got a free world um, exploring that you can go on um, you can go on planes, you can go on virtually anything but you have to get coins and stuff like that. But that's not also the only thing that lit that that's not the only thing that you can do. Of course you can travel to the old places and we do the old times from when they were younger. But you can also make your own levels which I thought was very, very good. When I first got this as a child, I thought this was amazing. And I wish they'd do this for more LEGO games now. I know that they're going to do it for LEGO Worlds. I feel like they should do it for like Lego Star Wars or Lego Dimensions. Well, virtually the new ones, because that would be awesome. From what I believe, this game's on PC, iMac, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, one on the Nintendo DS, and something else. Number 4, Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. This game is... is the third one into the Lego Batman um, video games, which they haven't done one for quite a while now. Well, I'm not too sure about Lego Dimensions, but we'll get to that later. Okay, in this, the storyline is that the Justice League has found out that there's this guy who called Brainiac that has been shrinking worlds, and now Brainiac wants to shrink their own world, Earth. And of course they have to go after them, but good and bad together. And then they do actually take down Brainiac and boom boom. With this game there's some downloadable content from the Batman Beyond to the films of Batman the Dark Dark Knight Rises and also to Arrow and also Man of Steel. There are also three DLC as well from what I know the rainbow colour pack to the to the um I think it's called a girl Lego pack I think it is with in that pack you've got characters like Starfire, Waven, T Titans and um you've also got Batwoman as well. In this game you can also play as the good and the bad, and also go on to the Green Lantern, different worlds to complete different tasks to either get gold um, bricks, either the web ones, or to earn characters, so you can complete the game. As these games got through the years, the levels got bigger and they got longer, so that means you're going to have to redo levels again if you have not completed them. So, yeah. This game's on the PlayStation 4, 3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, the Wii U, PC, and many more. 3. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga Of course I could have put like Lego Star Wars or Lego Star Wars 2, but I feel like this is better. This is basically those two games combined. In this you are able to play all of the Star Wars 6 films from that current time 
You also get to watch the new Indiana Jones Lego um, trailer game for when it was new back in that time as well. The stuff that you did in the previous games that you'll be able to do now with some also new stuff as well. You also get to play as Indiana Jones from him. And I guess as they were making this at the time, they did not really know who, how they would do this. So that's why the bullets are a bit different, let's say. And I also know that you can also play as the Ghost Ben Kenobi, Ghost Anakin Skywalker and Ghost Yoda, you can customize characters and also you've got some bounty hunter missions where you have to find the um, lost character like from Luke Skywalker to I2D2 and, and CP3PO. So, mm -hmm. you, you can also um, have two player on this as well. And it's also some new stuff has also been added onto there with new characters as well. Um, this game is virtually on nearly everything to your Android tablets, to the iMacs, to the PCs and your consoles as well. The only ones that this is not on, this is not on the newer consoles from like the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. So I hope that helps you. Number two, Lego Dimensions. How could we not leave this one out? In this you can actually go ahead and play as your favourite characters from Batman from the DC Universe to Batman from the Lego Batman Universe and the movie to Emmett from the Lego movie and also from that guy from the Goonies that's going to be released in May of this year. Yes, you can play as many, many characters, but none has not been added from Star Wars and also Marvel as well. So, hopefully one day they'll do that. The storyline is that this bad guy has a dimension power which has been sucking the good guys to trap them and the bad guys to help them to destroy the good guys, which is... Batman, Gandalf and Wildstar. You can also add on characters by buying them in your store or Amazon online. There's officially no downloadable content to this. Which is make, it makes it good for some people but not good for other people as well. Considering that this actually takes your real money. As you get these characters, you can also go into their worlds. And if you get level packs, you're able to do a story of this. The newest one is like the Lego Batman movie. This game's on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360. And that's all I know. I'm sorry. Finally, at number one, Lego Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. As of this, this one is the storyline from basically on Force Awakens with some hidden stories that has not been told in video game history before. And also you have got at the start of a bit of a recap of what Return of the Jedi was, which was quite nice because we got characters from Luke Skywalker, the Emperor, Darth Vader, and also Han Solo and one of the Ewoks as well. And then when you finish it, you're able to go ahead and explore from all of the galaxies, apart from, apart from the Return of the Jedi one, and complete missions to come to get your characters. And also, you know that thing that Han Solo went in in Empire Strikes Back? Well, Frozen and Carmenite. Those characters, there are some classic characters hidden around the galaxies and that you have to find them so you can get those characters. There are downloadable content from, there's some free ones including you've got a Clone Wars pack based on the TV series Clone Wars, same with the Webbles and also the Empire Strikes Back and other ones as well. This one is really good considering that they've improved their lightsaber um, draws and also the guns of when you are shooting each other, it feels like you're in a real shoot -em up game. So I would recommend this game, including Star Wars Battlefront, for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. So, this game is on PlayStation 4, 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, the Wii U, the PC, IMAX and many more. I hope you enjoyed this list, um, the reason why I'm uploading this is considering that there will be no lip sync video up for today because I'm quite busy. 
when I've done with my schedule and my movies and all that stuff, when I've done away from those, I'll get back to you guys, I will. But I don't think I'm going to go away so easily. <sighs> These traffic ads can't get with me so, so fast like that. Please like and subscribe and peace.